Starting September 28th, international market forces will determine the price of petroleum and petroleum products in St. Lucia, so says the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Commerce. Titus Preville says the fluctuating residual consumption tax mechanism will be replaced by the pass-through mechanism. What that means to the consumer is market forces and not the government will determine what price you buy gas at the pumps. What we had before was a system where government pretty much set the price of these products and what happened was there would be a fluctuation in the consumption tax and that fluctuation in the consumption tax meant that the government was able to keep the price of those products fixed but the government on the other hand would either be gaining or losing um, in revenue. The pass-through mechanism is meant to ensure that government gets a fixed revenue on every gallon of fuel. Prevel says the system was changed so that governments could better control the revenue generated from petroleum and petroleum products. Governments will make a fixed $3 on every gallon of gas sold. It is a system that works in the favor of government, a point made clear by the president of the Petroleum Dealers Association, Clinton Shalry. The pass-through system could have a negative effect or positive on consumers and the retailers. But when it comes to government, they know exactly where they're heading at because they have budgeted their, their, their margin. But we can't do anything else. Our determining factor will be what happens in the world market. The government wants to bring greater predictability to its revenue stream. Without revenue in the form of the taxes collected, the government cannot implement a number of the projects, schools, roads, etc. Secondly, the prices that we will be seeing at the pumps will generally reflect the prices at the international level, as I explained earlier. It would therefore send a clearer signal to the consumer of what it is really costing to use the particular product. The price of these products will be determined in a four-week cycle. That means prices could potentially change every month. Prevel says this is because St. Lucia is an importer and not producer of petroleum. It is also because changing prices need to be gazetted before they can take effect. What the government will be doing, as the governments of Barbados and Grenada are doing, they look at the price of the product over a four-week period, and then they use the average price to determine what the price for a particular a, a particular period would be. Shalri has never supported the move to pass through. He vehemently argued against it when it was first suggested by economist Kalba Didier. He continues not to support it and says it could spell trouble for dealers. The pass through mechanism will certainly demand that we as retailers manage our purchasing very carefully as indeed if we don't do that we can land into serious problems something that definitely we must take cognizant of secondly it is it definitely will ensure that government would be earning the level of revenue that they intend to earn from the sale of petroleum for petroleum products like the 20-pound cylinder of cooking gas, the government will not subsidize it beyond $10 per cylinder. There will be no subsidies for the 100-pound cylinder and bulk LPG. Government has also agreed to reward LPG distributors with $0.05 cents per pound increase in margin, not to be reflected in the retail price. Again, these changes take effect on September 28th. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.